Right, whatever you're doing for the next hour, please stay where you... Right, whatever you're doing for the next hour, please stay where you are because we have got a fantastic show. Gavin's in the house. How are you, Hello, Gavin? Hello, Janice. How Gavin? are you? Oh, oh you know, do you know, I've not seen you for ages. I How know. are you? I'm good. How are you uh, doing? Yeah, I'm really good. And I'm just looking down the counter and I'm looking ahead to a whole lot of fun. There is a lot of stuff coming. First of all, hello, everybody. Hello, Creating Craft World. How are you all? Hope you're having a lovely evening, albeit probably if you've been through what I've been through, very, very, very wet. Oh, dear. Well, I do apologise for that. It's not my fault, but I am sorry that you've had a terrible journey on it. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't normally blame you for the weather, I have to say. <laughs> for anyone that's not seen you, Gavin, can we just have a little chat about your good self? Because of you've can. got a whole line of history when it comes to gaming and puzzles and just bringing joy to everybody. So 31 years 31 of running years. the Happy Puzzle Company and loving every second of it. I started it uh, in my student bedroom mm -hmm. uh, in North London. Uh, and uh, everybody laughed and said, don't be ridiculous. You could never start a puzzle company and sustain it. Yeah. I think I might have proved them wrong. I think you did. Just possibly. We've won 21 awards 21. around the world. Wow. Uh, and our stuff is available everywhere. And our biggest selling games now sell in the millions, which is Gosh. pretty awesome. Well, for all those people that said you couldn't do it, Nah, nah, I'm nah, here, nah, nah. I'm here, absolutely. <laughs> Just look at you now, well, congratulations for I, I would that. add, by the way, yep. that when I started this, I didn't have any grey hair, so <laughs> <laughs> it does, does come with its uh, results, I have to say. Um, let's talk about taking pictures. We've got lots of new todays. We've yep. got puzzles, we've got jigsaw puzzles, we've got classic returning favourites as well. You can jump onto the hair, uh, website to have a look, but, but the hair site, let's go back to your hair, the website to see everything. But let's talk about our lovely camera here. This yes. is an operational camera. Yeah. The pinhole camera, the box brownie style that we all know and love from our days at school, and maybe from films that you've watched now, has come into the modern era. Let's talk about this camera. So this is a complete build your own kit. Doesn't require any electronics or anything like that. It's entirely manual. I will say from the beginning that we're going to need to tell you what film to buy to go with it. Okay. But it is something which is available absolutely everywhere. And what I really want to tell you is the story of this camera. Please. So the Jolly Look factory where these are made was originally in a place called Irpin, which okay. is a suburb of Kiev in Ukraine. And at uh, 5 a.m. on the 24th of February 2022 is when Russia went into Ukraine and okay. threw all of the plans into chaos. And so the Jolly Look team behind this uh, wanted me to tell their story. So I'm going okay. to tell you the story from them. Okay. So they say, on that day, our peaceful life ended and was suddenly replaced by explosions, sirens and bomb shelters. Our laser cutting machines were in a place called Bucha and our office and assembly unit with all the components were in Irpin. Unfortunately, the laser cutting machines and the computers in Bucha were damaged. But as soon as it became possible to visit Irpin, they were relieved to find that the office had survived. Now, the good news is that they were able to think quickly and pack all the components up and all the development units, and they managed to get them across to the west of Ukraine. And eventually, they managed to relocate to a city called Zvolen, mm -hmm. which is in Slovakia. And the kind people of Zvolen helped them to set up the, 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 the whole factory there. They went on to a Kickstarter campaign with the uh, pinhole camera kit, and it's just come out. And so we have bought a very limited quantity of them over to the UK. So we don't even know if we're going to be able to get any more. OK. So this is when I say when they're gone, they're gone. I can say they are gone when they're gone. And we may or we may not be able to get any more. But at the moment, we can't get any more. OK. Let's take a look. This is self-build. You get all the instructions and all the components inside to build this camera, which is a working camera. You may, when you've been at school or maybe <coughs> from films, you've seen cameras that have a pinhole, and all you do is use this to expose, and then you turn the handle and that picture will come out and it will self-develop. A little bit like the cameras the that you use to get the... The Polaroids. Yeah, the, 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 the Polaroid yeah, the cameras. Polaroid cameras yes. and, and like... So, 
This is your viewfinder here. So you line up where you want to take the picture. There are three more settings on here. You then take this to the side and we do, we push that, we open that up for the exposed amount of time. We then push that back. We then turn the handle on the side. This is where the magic happens, everybody. And it's the development crank. And you turn that and then your picture will come out on the top when you've got your film inside. And that's how you use it. And then you just place the, um, picture to one side and it will slowly but surely develop. It is something for any camera enthusiast or anybody thinking about studying film at school. I just think it's fabulous, Gavin. Yeah, it's a wonderful kit and it's a lovely project and we do say ages 14 and yes. up because this is something that you need to take care yes. with what you're building. Yes. And obviously you'll want your own screwdrivers and stuff like that, but there's no electronics or anything else like that involved. And the film that you're going to need for it is what's called Instamax film. Yes. Uh, which you can basically get every and all the details of what you need uh, come with the uh, information as well. Yeah, they are readily available. And again, the films, uh, the cartridges are readily available to put in. To show you how this works, give you a little taste to have a look at this. Do you know what? It's a lot of fun. And like you see there, you can decorate it however you like. Let's just turn this around so you can see the technology inside. Look at that going right back to bait six. No electronics in there. Remember, it's your self-winding and the cartridges that you can buy, they are readily available for you. But it's about those instant pictures and it's about the scrapbooking that you can put together with your happy Puzzle Company Pinhole Mini DIY Instant Camera uh, DIY Kit. What a fantastic, absolutely amazing uh, product to bring to you here at Create and Craft. You know I love my photography, so to do it in a, in a rather different way, in a special way, and I think the backstory behind it as well is lovely. £80.99. Now, Easter 10 is a code that you can use when your basket comes to £30 or more. So do you know what? That one does. So you can get an extra 10% off that price 72.89 is your price for that particular product and before right. you move on can i just say yes no matter what camera equipment I have, yes. I will never, ever be able to be as good a photographer as you. It's like the oh, highlight God. of my day. If any of you don't follow Janice already on social media to see the beautiful, stunning Aww. wildlife images that she puts up there, you have to see them oh, to believe thanks, them. Gavin. I am blushing, actually. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you to say. You're the one I that needs the scrapbook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, let's talk about a new game that we've got for you. I'm intrigued on this one, Cube Slinger. Cube Slinger. Lovely new game. It's a first time inventor. Yep. The gentleman's name is Tim Kemp and okay. he, I've discovered he lives around the corner from Yanis. Oh, does he? As well. There you go. This is a head to head game. Okay. You're playing uh, one person against another. Okay. And with each of the 120 puzzles that you've got here, which come here, you've got five levels. The hard ones are really, really hard, but we'll start off nice and easy. Okay. And what happens with each of these cards is that you're given a number of clues to start you off with. Okay. So I'll give you the red set and you right. and I've got the blue set here. Okay. So what we know 
is we know that we're going to start with the yellow piece in the top right hand okay. corner with the and orange. A blue piece there with the orange piece there we're going to follow those color codes there and we know similarly that we're going to have from here uh, one up oh, there, there for example so that we've got a green uh, a green dot in the green corner okay. and a blue dot at the top there okay. and then down here at the bottom here as well we've got to have a blue opposite a red now that won't necessarily be the right combination we're putting we're gonna to have to work okay. out in a moment and finally a green opposite a red which is over here like this now in order to solve each of the puzzles we have to satisfy the conditions that exist in both the columns and the rows so in order to solve this puzzle we will need to have three blues in this row okay one red and only one red in that row three reds in this row two yellows in this row and then in the columns two yellows two greens one blue and two blues okay, okay? let me pop that i need you, to find you have that a go red. you can see so that we know is is going to be wrong potentially okay. we put that in there like so we've still managed to do that if i turn this around here like so does that that will okay so i that that, all, that works a bit better because we've got two blues right. there now. Actually, if I turn this back the other way, I'm just thinking there now I've got my three blues in that ah. row. I've got my one red in that row there. Right. Now I need to have my three. So I've got three in the top. Yeah, OK. Now I'm going to have to have my three reds there. So now I've got three reds in that row uh, and I need two yellows in this row. So this is going to have to I've change as well. Gavin. You've got two yellows there. I think I've done it. I think you might I've well have done three. it. There you go. What have I got here? Have I got two yellows in there? No. What do I need in this row? One. Uh, one red you've got. <laughs> oh, three reds there. Uh, two yellows. Now yep. let's see if the columns work. Oh. Two blues. Yes. 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 Uh, ah, but you haven't followed that because oh. there's supposed to be a blue there. Okay. Let's just show everybody okay. exactly here. Ah. So, okay, right. so you would have needed to have had, because you haven't got the pieces where they started, so that okay. one would have gone in there yep. like so. And then this one here, if we'd actually turn that over there like so, right. that one positions in there okay. like that. This one here, we're gonna, look, you always see in reverse on the other side okay. what you've got there, so that will work in there like so. Perfect. And then we need to have have this one in here like yep. so and there you go you can see we've matched exactly what is there I've got perfectly. the one yellow there I've got the one blue there the three blue across there the one red there three red across two yellow and then I've got the two yellow going up the two green correct Ooh. now that of course was level one that was really really easy okay as we go through now when you get to the okay. really hard ones here of it course, takes me a little longer everybody it takes me a little longer and then you see here's the very hardest puzzle you've got no idea what color cube goes anywhere am I starting like well you no. you see you're going to start with anything all you know from yeah. this is that there will be each one of these four colors somewhere but since all the colors appear on all of the cubes you've got no idea what cube color so that's I, going to be so do i need two red going across the top yes. but one of them has to be green two red going across but there's going to be one green there as well yeah okay okay i'm um, just going to now these cubes are made out of wood they are absolutely stunning and then i'm going uh, to and they're really nice and this. chunky you can see these pieces are nice so and I big need as well two of the red it could be that. It could be that. But I've got two yellow there. So I need either the two yellow there with one green there, or I need a yellow in there. So what I need to do is find another red and a yellow, maybe? Do I have a red and a yellow? I do have a red and a yellow. So it could be that. Because I'm thinking down you're as still, well as I'm cross. You're, but you're still going to need to have two yellows going down there. So I've only got change. one. You're no, going to need to, yeah. I'm, I'm just sorting my top out. Now I'm coming down here, so I'm going to need two yellows across and I'm going to need another yellow there, but I don't have a yellow there. It could be that, because I could go for the two yellows here and pop that. It could be that. It could be that, so apart now from I'm, the fact that you know there has to be a red there. There does have to be a red there. And there would have to be a green there. Because I need three, so I need... Yes. OK, so I've got you, so I need... It could be... Could it be that? And we would be racing against each other. And so that. the difficulty level of the puzzles goes yep. up really, really nicely. And this is a seriously good value puzzle. When you look at what you're paying for it, 
and you're getting 120 puzzles there. Oh, this is good. This it's is this good. is like I'm I'm now I'm now thinking about this even further. My goodness, this is a great game to play. We play it with two people, yep. as you no, would with the genius, as games. you would with the genius games. But you <coughs> could have little mini leagues in your uh, family. Could you play it on your own? I guess you yes, could, because you could absolutely. be practicing. One hundred percent. So you could be up against the clock. I, do you know what? That would be great because you could practice, 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 then invite your friends round and play against them. <laughs> six four six three two three is your item number. Twelve pounds and fifty nine pence. That's a great game. Gets the mind thinking. Doesn't Solution it? on the back, by the way, yes. so you can see how close you were. Absolutely uh, nowhere near. No. <laughs> Actually, you know what, if Actually, we were to turn, turn it, it that way round, I probably you was. have the cubes in the right order. Yes. It's all not bad. So not it's bad. not bad. That's what I was, I was working back to front. There you go. So if you want to get that, that is your cube slinger. Absolutely fantastic. Another great game from the Happy Puzzle Company. Right. Now, it's not all about games. Sometimes it's nice just to sit down and do a puzzle where you're not competitive against someone else. So you say it's not all about games. I was going to say it is all about play. Yes, all about And play. relaxing and having fun and doing things with other people. And what we've got for you now is something very, very special. This wow. is a range of eight different jigsaws yes. that have been created by a really phenomenal graphic artist, digital graphic artist, who I know is watching. Hello. Her name is Lizzie Anthony. And oh, hello, Lizzie. Lizzie. We want to just tell you that we think you're an absolute hero because what you've created is something utterly spectacular. Uh, now, let's take a look at this. Is the first one? Um, yeah. If you, yeah, stand that side. Uh, Cleopatra's you, needle. So, and do you know what this is uh, behind? I think this is. Um, there you are. Betty's tea rooms. Ah, Betty's tea rooms. Now, uh, and of course, we know where this is. This is in Harrogate. Beautiful. And Lizzie, I know, is from is from Harrogate. I love Harrogate. Yes. For several reasons. Yes. Go on. Most people love Harrogate because of um, Betty's Tea Rooms. Yes. I love it because uh, that's where Eurovision was held in 1982. Yes, it yes, was. Of course, yes. obviously. Yeah, you're a big Eurovision fan. Uh, just a bit. Yep. Just a bit. Two more shows for me here before Eurovision. <laughs> anyway, uh, so the, these are her uh, images. That, there are several images of Harrogate. So you've got Betty's Tea Room, uh, which you see here look as well. Look at the level of detail that oh we've got Oh my gosh, literally they are stunning and amazing. Shop windows, you've got a lady here with a pram with a baby, you've got a gentleman there walking, people having tea, there's somebody waving, somebody walking their dog. Up here you've got the undulating hills, you've also got the trees, you've got the sky and the tops of the building <coughs> in Harrogate as well. So you've got that perspective. That is a stunning piece of artwork on its own, let alone a jigsaw puzzle. Just like to point out one thing, this lady should not be crossing the road because the lights there are green, you see. Uh-oh. Should be waiting with, I know, never mind. Uh-oh. Uh, so that is, uh, that is, um, Betty's uh, tea room. Maybe it's a Sunday when they've there. got no traffic going in. Yeah. Maybe it is. That, maybe. Maybe it maybe. is. Maybe. Um, but again, I wonder how many pieces are in the jigsaw puzzle? These are a thousand piece jigsaws. A thousand pieces. Do you know what I saw online the other day? There is a competition for jigsaw puzzles for people. They come along, they have all the jigsaw in the box, they have a few seconds to get it out. And then there's a competition for the first one to get it finished. And it's phenomenal. Go and have a look at it online. It's, it's inspirational when you see how quick they put the jigsaw puzzles together. And I'll tell you something else which I saw quite recently it was a 42,000 piece jigsaw assembled. And it was literally about the size of the, of the wall behind, wow. behind you here. Just quite staggering. I just I sort of have this recurring nightmare <laughs> of getting to the last piece and finding that it's gone. You can't find it. It's, uh, been, do you know what? it's, it's in the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Maybe start with this one as your run up. That's a great image. And when you've done the jigsaw puzzle, if you want to put that in a frame, you can do. There are ways of doing that. Oh, you just need a bit of um, jigsaw yeah. glue. Yeah. You, just, you get a jigsaw glue from anywhere, from any high street craft place yeah. or, anything, or anything like that. So there are eight in the range yes. altogether. Are we able to actually have a look at the um, images yes. of the different yeah, ones? Yes, we certainly are. We're going to run so, through them. Uh, the, now, they're not all of Harrogate. Uh, this is obviously the area where, um, where, where Lizzie comes from. Uh, so the one we've got up here is the one which you saw, which is, which is uh, Betty's Tea Rooms in Harrogate. We've then got Gay Paris yes, coming up next. Yes, you have one. There we are. Now, oh, look at oh, that. Oh, 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 I should oh, say. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. That is beautiful. I love the colours in that. I love the colours on the trees. It's an autumn and, and, scene. And you've got the street markets there mm -hmm. selling all their artwork. Mm -hmm. You've got... Is that, that's the Eiffel Tower in the background. La Tour Eiffel. Yeah, La Tour Eiffel dans la rue. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. 
Yeah. <laughs> right next Lovely. to us. Next sorry, one. That's in the French from us. <laughs> These are great prices. Um, oh, this is Yorkshire. Yeah, now oh, that is that, that is a, a, a sort of generic Yorkshire with lots yeah. of different scenes of Yorkshire. Uh, I just the colours in that are just absolutely fantastic. So if I'm right in thinking, that's Whitby, isn't it? At the back, yeah, yes. I think it might be with I think the church. It is, yes. Absolutely, uh, and that's—is that a viaduct? Is that with water? That is definitely a viaduct. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I can that's, confirm that is a viaduct. That's beautiful. <laughs> now from Whitby to New York. New York. New York. Mm. Eventually. Ev eventually, we'll yeah. have New York. Maybe, like that. Oh, oh, there maybe. you go. Oh gosh, look at that! Lots, oh, that is New York, isn't there. it? Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah. That is beautiful. One two one two eight seven from New York to LA, from LA to New York. No, but we're heading to Mallorca. Mallorca. Yeah, look these at are all that. places that Lizzie has visited and that mean a lot to her. Oh, that is beautiful. I bet you've been to Mallorca. Do you know what? I've never been to Mallorca. I've also never been to. But Mallorca. we're thinking about going this year. Are you? Yeah. Isn't it where um, lovely um, Pam is from? Yeah, it's her place of birth, Mallorca. So. Uh, 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 Paula is from. Yeah. yeah. Pa uh, no, hang Mallorca. on. I thought Paula was Malaga. No. No. Mallorca. I stand. I stand yeah, correct. She's a Mallorca lady. Oh, she's going to want one of these. Eight eight one seven double five is your item number. Uh, your crown roundabout. This is a bit yes, different. Yes. Back the crown? in Harrogate. Is it right? Yeah. Okay. This is another scene of Harrogate. Crown Roundabout is a is a, 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 a famous place in Harrogate as well. Gosh, look at that. The colours are amazing. I know, the artwork she's is amazing. wonderful. Uh, and the detail. What's great when you get a jigsaw puzzle is the amount of detail that's in there. You need to challenge yourself. You need to take your time putting it together. So this is actually a really good jigsaw if you're not used to doing thousand piece jigsaws because there are so many colors yes it's an easier type of jigsaw to do than one where perhaps you've got lots of the same color actually you're right yeah, yeah. because you can pick out the pieces yeah. they're, they're recognizable aren't yes, they yes absolutely six five four seven oh one is your item number they're only 17.99 what a great gift for somebody i'm telling you something father's day jigsaw puzzles for father's day i think are a great gift i really do this is valley gardens and in fact we've got one here we i don't do know whether the this. camera can see we've got this one made up as well uh, the reason why Could we've we got this these? flat we'll move I'm these going out of the way do this very we've got we've got these flat over. because um uh, we had this partially cut like we did uh with the betty's tea rooms one and uh, betty's corner uh, and unfortunately i think they cut through a little bit too much and when we tried to lift it up and actually put it on yes. uh, the easel there you go, look uh, that. it turned out to be there but that is beautiful that's what it's like uh, finished Gosh, it's the most stunning that. stunning size as that well it's really beautiful yeah this is something it? that you really want to have um, framed as well i think i should get into jigsaw puzzles more often because i, I do it, it is a nice way of relaxing and it's a nice way of engaging your brain as well, well that's what in we're your doing own time that's what we're doing this weekend for most of the weekend jigsaw because we've got puzzles. a four day bank holiday and the kids said they wanted to do a jigsaw oh. that and on sunday yes going to the uh football uh, no oh, no. Yes, no football's monday okay uh, sunday we're going to um, brighton to the yes. uh, abra exhibition commemorating oh, 50 years since they fantastic. won eurovision <laughs> indoctrinating my own children oh there you brilliant go. <laughs> lovely uh, have you been to abra voyage yet twice oh thank you very much uh, right six double five seven one six is your item number 17 pounds and 99 pence next up we've got west park and that is also a harrogate scene Oh, that is lovely. What a lovely summer's day that Honestly. is in Harrogate. If you live in Harrogate, these would be absolutely amazing and stunning in your home. 08081 is your item number. £17.99. And, uh, and that's all eight designs in your jigsaw puzzles that we've got. They are beautiful. They really are. Thank they you, really Lizzie. Are. I know you're watching. Oh, thank you, You are Lizzie. awesome. You have done an amazing job. Right, Gavin, where are we going next? We've got more for you. Uh, yeah, I want to actually show you the IQ Jigsaw okay. uh, next, which yes. is something which we launched a couple of months ago here okay. uh, and has just had the most extraordinary response. And the reason right. why is very simple. This appeals equally to people who are into jigsaws and who are into logic puzzles. So this is the world's first logical jigsaw puzzle. So you've got nine pieces. Yes. And they come apart into sections like okay. that. Yes. And for all of the puzzles that you've got, which are in here, and as you can see, you've got the solutions in the back as well. Ah. We've got 120 of those as well inside there. And they all give you a different amount of information, but the aim always is the same, is you've got to end up with a square yes. using all of the pieces. So 
if I start at the beginning, this one I've set up here is the most straightforward. This, by the way, gives you an example. So there's an example there of what you might get the information to set it up. Right. And there's the completed challenge. So you can see where the three pieces are. But of course, you won't necessarily uh, know what colour order everything's going to go in. So okay. you've got to work it out. Okay. Whereas with some of the later puzzles as well, you get even less information. So here, for example, you don't know where that will even appear inside the shape okay. as well. But so you have to have that within in the shape you will have to have that within okay. the shape so if we go to number one here so we've got all of these in position first of all right. and we've got two pieces that are left so can okay. you see Where how these... these are going to go into place just okay. to finish off this puzzle right. so let's... okay okay so this I of have... course is puzzle number one these don't so it's come going out, to be they? No, but they can go either way up. Okay, so that, so that could could that go in there? No, because it's going to stop it from being a square. It was going to stop it from being a square. Can I move? Ah, no, that's going to stop it from that's being a square. That's going to stop it from being a square as well. Okay, hang on, hang on. Well, that yes, that'll okay. fit in there. And that Perfect. will fit in there, and there is our square. Oh, I like that. That's very that's clever, very isn't good, it? Isn't now, it? Look, can I just say to everyone here, uh, I, I want you to trust me on this. Uh, obviously, I go through a lot of puzzles and games. I think this is one of the best things that we've ever done. If you like the Genius Square and the other Genius games, you will absolutely adore this. I want another one. Do another one. Do another one. You want to do, an, do, do another, another one? one. Okay, one we'll, start, just one okay more. we'll start another one up See, here. This is what it's like when you get a really good game. You just want to keep I know. Um, okay, using. well, let's go, for, let's go for puzzle number two there. So okay. we'll set that one up in there. Okay. Uh, and then I've got to get this in the right order. So the three go across there like so. Okay. So that's going to go in there like that. And then the dark blue one is going to go in uh not that way that way there in okay. there like so does it sh it doesn't it doesn't give you the um solution yes oh it does yeah, but that's yeah. in the back so. the solutions are at the back okay so that's you go good. through you'll find all of the solutions are that's are, good i like uh, that the because then here. it's not so frustrating you know if you do it for the first time and you think you know i just can't do this you look in the solution at the back and then you go ah i get it now it's of course it's all doable and you could just have so much fun as well yeah and if you need a little hint or something like that at the back there's Maybe no harm in there's no harm in doing that, that. For you. Uh, yeah i'm the one that always needs the help with these things <laughs> trust me i'm the one that needs the help i've got one more to go in there okay. which is this one here which is going to go that way around did i put that in the right way i think i did oh it's going to go that way like that yep. mm, uh, 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 uh. turn it around twist it around what did i do here that one, yes, there you go, okay. in there like that. So, so you've got, oh, three got three pieces left now. Oh, Gavin. Okay, oh, no. off I go. Right, You did okay. ask. That looks, oh, no, that won't work there. No, that's not going to go okay. there. Okay, I'm looking at that one, though. Could it be that way? Yes, that way. Okay, this one is a bigger one. That goes in that way. This could be the game for me. Yes, did Janice it. is good. Janice I like this. I like this. Yes. I do like this. And all of the presenters who've, who've got these already. Yes. I was going to say particularly Paola, but Paola particularly loves everything. Yes. Uh, but such amazing feedback yeah. um, from I this. I do like that. And it's a kind of game <clears throat> that you can play on your own. Uh, and it's a great little pastime as well, which is fabulous. Can now, I just tell you, by the way, I, yes. I, so how this came about okay. uh, was I worked with an inventor, a Belgian inventor called yes. Raf Peters, and I actually went to him and asked him if he could please create for us a logic jigsaw puzzle. That's very good. And this good. is what he came back with. It only took him a few weeks to do. Wow. And he's come back with this, which is absolutely ingenious. It, it really is. But and I, I like all the different colours in there honestly, as well. And it's, it's really not expensive. It's beautifully made. I cannot recommend this highly enough. Do you know what me, me too i love this 13 pounds and 49 pence zero six one zero zero two is your item number can we have a look at the genius square next yes can we have a look uh, at genius and of course square? Uh, anybody who's uh, now, ever watched this show knows all about the we the have genius got square. the regular size and we've got the xl size is this the xl size that we're this using this is the here? xl size do you know how okay. the xl size came about by is the it way? because everybody watched the program and wanted to have one the same size? we had one made especially yep. for us by a carpenter yep. to use uh, on creating craft or in yes. those days it was a chanda yes uh and we were absolutely inundated by people asking if they could get hold of that size. i love the xl the price is brilliant 25 pounds and 19 pence when you see what this affords you as well the amount of 
fun that you're going to have with your friends, with your family, with your children, with yourself as well, because you can play this on your own if you want to. It just helps that grey matter move around in the day, but also sometimes can help you relax as well, just to do a puzzle in between your crafting. 149788 is your item uh, number. We do know, by the way, yes. that for anybody that has dexterity challenges yes. as well, the pieces are much more chunky here to be able to get yeah. hold of. Do you know what? That's what I like about <coughs> this for myself personally. Uh, right, okay, should we have a no, go? Well, yes, so just for the benefit of anybody who's just arrived on planet Earth and hasn't actually seen the Genius Square before, first of all, welcome. The world is in chaos, but the Genius Square is not. So we're going to take off all of our pieces, okay. first of all. We've got nine of these pentomino style blocks Pentom and pentomino pentomino. style. Well, they're not actually pentominoes because they don't have five bits to them. OK. But they are in the style of pentominoes. OK. Uh, there you go. Uh, and we've got seven of these blockers. Which disappear on this counter. You can't see them. Uh, can you not see them very well? <laughs> no, so you can't. They're, they're there at the they're side. They're also off the side of the screen yeah. for me. There you go. There you go. And we've got seven dice. Now, when okay. we roll the dice, they all fall into one of... 62,208 possible combinations. So okay. what? 62,208. So, the so chance if we were on Mars, we'd be playing this for a very long time. Why particularly Mars? I don't know. I don't know why you said Mars. I don't know, because I think if, you know, if you're sending people to Mars, there'll be nothing else to do. So this would fill up our time. I was about to say if we do it in Leicester, it'll be the same. But then the implication <laughs> there is that Leicester is dull and boring. So <clears throat> we'll say Edgware instead, OK? If you're... Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, OK, this is a moment. It's one of those moments that comes out. Leicester I've got a Janice moment. Are we Lest playing you next at all? Uh, you've you? played us twice already. Did we beat you? Yes, twice. Let's move on. Let's let's move on. Although, if we want to get you know, a little bit like this, I would just like to remind you that you are no longer at the top of the championship, <laughs> and things which once seemed inevitable have lost their inevitability. <coughs> anyway, deduction. thanks for joining Points us, Gavin. It's been yeah. lovely, <laughs> lovely having you on the show. Uh, right. <coughs> uh, uh, yeah. Right. Mm. OK, here we go. Now, look. Uh, oh, Premier League. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, get there first. Uh, points deduction. <coughs> right, anyway. You... At least we're getting there. <laughs> and we're not. Uh, it's all right. I'm happy with 14th. If there were 150 teams, but anyway. <laughs> right, we have thrown the following uh, coordinates and we're we going to use other, our really. block. We do. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're going to block these bits okay. off there. So we've got C3 okay. and we've got F4 C3. and we've got C5. I'm going to put my glasses on. Hang and on, we've got, F4. Uh, uh, F4, C5, yep. B3, B3. B3. F2. F2. Uh, F1. F1. And D1. F1 um, and D1. We are going to race against each other. Okay. Uh, in order to complete the grid, and okay. it works every single time. Okay. So, are you ready? Yep. On your marks, get set, go. Okay. So, I, you see, I'm going to be a disadvantage because I'm going to talk. I'm going to say, if there is anybody watching that doesn't actually own this game already, okay. uh, you are in a minority of members of the human race. So, if you haven't got this already, definitely make ah. sure that you get one as quickly as possible because I finish that now. No, Gavin. And that's how quick it takes to play a game. And the first thing you want to do once you have finished playing is to play a game <sighs> immediately. Then. By the way, can I just tell you the uh, the record uh, yes. of all the ones that we've measured of any of the presenters? Yes. Uh, is Paula? What we're we talking about? What we're we measuring? The, how fast she did one oh, of the okay. uh, uh, thirteen seconds. Was it thirteen seconds? Thirteen seconds. She was that on the big one or the tiny one? Uh, it was on the big one. But the puzzles are exactly the same. They are indeed. Because Janice, size is not important. Thir well, it's not. It's not. It it is. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It's not the size of the wand. It's the magic of the magician, and that's what we're talking about. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Do you know, one day I've waited for the moment when we... Oh, come here. It's, you know this is going to be on one of your Facebook posts. I know. And she's busy talking about her wand and Where is in the it, middle of know, doing this. Some magicians are great. Some that's what? right. That's right. right. But this is an amazing game. Mm -hmm. Let's do it Magician's again. Magician's wand or none. Right, okay. let's do it again. OK. Ah, right. You're watching Create and Craft. Uh, right. Okay, let's okay. line these up again. And of course, as I mentioned, the chances C3, of us having the same uh, one again twice is one in sixty-two thousand two hundred eight. So this will be different. C three, A four, F three, E six, F two, uh, A four. Not that we're confusing anyone. A six, yep. F two, yep. And A three. Okay. Ready? Yep. Go. Right, let's concentrate on this, put that one in there. That I may have just made a fatal flaw here. I'm oh, not no. entirely I've sure made... what I've done, no, but I I've... think I might have messed something up, but maybe not. I don't want to embarrass myself on this. Do you this know what? It's because I've not played done. it. <laughs> OK, 
again. The magician's one strikes again. 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 Uh, again. By the way, again. if you go onto the um, Creating Craft website, creatingcraft.com, and look up the Genius Square, you will see staggering numbers of reviews, all of which have five stars. Uh, it's quite extraordinary the response that this gets. Uh, and we've now sold. I'm getting one for 8,000 to 8, Create and Craft, create and craft viewers and uh, worldwide we're coming up for the 2 million mark. Oh my goodness, yeah. that is incredible. Did you roll the dice? I have, oh, yeah, you I've done okay. that. A6, uh, so A6, B5, B5 E6, uh, B3 I got first. Oh yeah, B3, E6, sorry. Uh, E6, E1, A, E1, E1, D2, D2 and uh, D4. D2. Uh, I hope there's people playing along no, at home. They normally are. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you minute. checking? I don't think you've done anything wrong because... Uh, no, I'm just checking. I think you're, you're um, planning. I'm not planning. Why would I oh, be doing I that? Am. Go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wait, just see here. Okay, that's going to go in there. That one's going to go in there. That one's going to go in there. This is going to go in here. That will go in here like so. No, that one has to go in there if I'm putting that one in there. Therefore, that one isn't going to be able to go in there. That was no. You see, I've done it all Wrong, uh, I? That one should oh, go there. Have I done it completely wrong? No, I haven't. Go, uh, I have one. Was... Again. Oh, la, la, Three la, la, la. A we win could. of Adam Humphrey proportions. <sighs> Gin... What does that mean? What? Who's laughing? I can hear laughing in the background in the air. Uh, I've got my strongest record against Adam. Oh, right. OK. Uh, so if I want to beat somebody by anything to nil, okay. it's playing Adam. OK. Don't play Yanis. OK. Yanis is the champion. Is he? Mm. Well, it, you know, if, if this wasn't my final hour of the day, um, are you saying that Adam's really good? N n no, actually, I was suggesting the opposite. Oh. I think Adam thinks he's good. Oh, that's OK. Well, me and Adam, I tell you what, me and Adam could play this all night and we, we would be really, really satisfied because neither of us would win. But I would get better and Adam would get better if the more you play. If you're still in the building, play, Humphreys, come through to the, the more, studio. The more, the more you play, the more you'll be able to do this. Right, so that is your oh. Genius Squares. That's the extra large, £25.19. 149788 is your item number. Can, can I just show you one thing, though? Go Come on. over here. Let's just, okay. just pop over here for okay. a moment. Over uh, here. Because what you can see here is over the there. difference. Over here, camera five... Uh, or four. Oh, uh, four. Hello, four. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, down here, you can see the difference in size yes. between the regular Genius Square yes. yeah. and the giant Genius Square. Yeah. OK. So, giant Genius Square, very, very or popular. Or Genius Square XL. I would go for the Genius Square XL. You also have the smaller one, which is equally as fantastic. Um, could be a little travel size for you there. We'll bring remember, the details up. Remember, you get up. two of everything inside yes. the, uh, the set that you've got as well, OK? You do. Uh, but we're going to do a bundle. Uh, we are. Yes. Uh, if you want to go for your Genius Gems, Genius Square and Genius oh. Star, OK, you've got three terrific games here. You can develop your skills as you play through them. £40 and 47 pence. That's over £30. Do you want an extra 10% off that? That's Easter 10. 923941 is your item number for that one. Right, we have got the star. The genius star. The By genius the way, just star. while we're talking about the set of the three of them, just to put this into some sort of perspective. Yes. Uh, normally, if you were to buy the three games individually, uh, they would be 19.99 each. Yes. So that would be uh, 59.97 for the three of them. So if you buy this pack of three, uh, you're going to get them for 40 pounds and 47 pence. So if you think about that, you're more or less buying two and getting one free. Shall I tell you, it's going to get even better. Go on. That's over £30. We have got an event on at the moment. If you add Easter 10 code to your basket, you'll get an extra 10% off. So you will Taking be saving that, uh, about £24, something yeah, like that? Yeah, because that takes it down to 36 42 36 so just under £24 saving. It's amazing, oh, isn't I'm it? serious. Right. Come on. OK, let's go for yeah, the let's Genius Star. Yeah, let's go for the star. Genius Star. Okay, now, the Genius Star uh, is harder. It's also got uh, more puzzles in it, just um, 165,888. Say what? S yes, precisely. 165,888 wow. right, then, Gavin, challenges. Come on. Uh, we won't have time to do all of them right now. OK. Uh, but we can probably do a couple of them. Now, there's a lovely little twist on okay. this as well. Uh, here, you've got blockers that uh, are white with a black star on yep. them. And we'll okay. remove those. OK. And then you've got 11 pieces, but two of them are the same, and there is a very important reason why. Now, these two are the same. 
and those are the blue half hexagons. When you put them together, they will make a golden star. Ah. If you turn them over, yep. then there's no golden star. Okay. Now, the point is this, that on roughly 57% of the puzzles, it is possible to complete the puzzle with the golden star in place. Okay. The question is, how brave do you feel? Do you oh. want to take a risk and try and get a double win okay. by putting the golden star together? Or do you go for a single win yeah. by turning them this way up? Now, the good news is that if you go to the GeniusStar.com yep. website, you can put your coordinates in and it will actually tell you whether or not it is possible to do it with the Genius, with the oh. Golden Star intact. But okay. for the purposes of this, yes. we're just going to go for the easier version because some of them, some of them are going to take a long, 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 long okay. time if we go for the so Star. So we'll turn them over to the... Blue. Correct. Okay. Now, look, if we look at these here, I'm going to hold this up actually to camera two because you need to be able to see this more clearly. I hope you can see this if we zoom in a little bit. Can we see the numbers on there? Twist, there you are. That's nice. You can see the numbers on there. Uh, the numbers from 1 to 48. So that's instead of the coordinates there. And this time, the reason why there are so many more challenges is because three of the dice here are octagonal. Yes. Which means there's What's a lot more numbers involved. Okay. It means eight sides. Okie dokie. Yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, uh, and if we roll these then, again, 165,888 possible solutions. Okay. And the principles are exactly the same. Let's line these up so that we have got everything in order okay. so that people who are playing at home along with us yes please do play if you are playing at home if you do have these puzzles email in <coughs> let us know it is studio at creatingcraft.com and if you're not playing at home because you don't have these puzzles please then buy these puzzles pop them into your basket definitely so, right okay number, number one get his eye 27 oh, you got 22 dogs. first yes uh, then 27 Heinz Variety. Is there. Uh, yes, it is. Number 20. Number 20 is here. Yes. 25. 25. Uh, which is down there. Number Coming 11. Nine. Legs 11. And the bonus ball is number 13. Unlucky Ooh, for some. Now, Baker's just before dozen. we start, Ooh. okay, this is a little bit of a help okay. because you always wonder where you're going to need to use your single piece. Okay. Well, there's no choice here right? because it can only go in one place. Okay. So that's going to go in there. So we've got to okay. get the rest of them. Are you ready? Uh, no. Hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm ready now. Okay. Go. On your marks, get set, go. Now, with as is the case with the uh, Genius Square, there's almost always going to be multiple possible solutions to this, okay. but you've got to work Work out what you're doing mm -hmm. and this is not easy oh, gosh, uh, to no. actually die and decipher because there are so many more possibilities okay. and the way that these pieces go together mm -hmm. uh, oh I'm making my life very difficult here without even okay. trying that will go in there I go think there. Uh, let's see if we can get this there. one in here mm -hmm. this is the one I need to get rid of actually next if I try and put that one across here oh, like no, that one's not right why have I done that oh that goes it oh no I can't do that because that's that will go in there that will go in here. That will go in there. This one will go in here, and this one will go in here, oh, and there really you go. Oh, Gabby! So you can see that this did take longer to do Gabby. than the Genius Square, but yeah, I'm afraid I have one again. Yeah, you certainly have. I have. I'm sorry. You have. Don't rub it in. Mm. Uh, I was actually going to go for the the the, the star, so I was going I was going to put that in there, but then it didn't quite work out because I'd already used that one there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I got stuck on that for a little bit longer. But what um, we, we, you, could, we see what you could do is you could take these coordinates, you could go to GeniusStar.com, you could put the could coordinates put in, in, and then it would be able to tell us automatically whether or not it was possible to do it with the Genius Star intact. I think when you play this and you keep playing it, I think you will then start to get those combinations together and start using them, don't well, you think? I'll tell you why. When you They're get different used to, every time. They are, but when you, you see, when you're playing with the Genius Square, for example... Yep. Or a Genius. A while, or, or a genius, uh, you you start to you start to see patterns automatically. Yes, you can't you. help yourself, and the same thing happens with this. This is harder. This is ages eight to adult, whereas okay. the genius square is ages um, six to adult. Um, and I think this one, if you're playing by yourself, I am still going. Uh, is you're still going? You go. I'm just copying you, really. Uh, oh, are you? Yes, because I just okay. because I just I just there you go. I just there you go. Yeah, complete copy. A abs absolute copy of, uh, of me. But don't forget, of course... Would uh, there be another option for me to do, then? Wouldn't I have to be the same as you? No. 
So I could complete mine there, different to you? You could do. There, oh. there would not always uh, be more than one solution, oh, but I've got you. more often than not, there is, there, there is more so than one solution. So all that trying to copy you didn't do me any good at all. Mm. <laughs> this Flat is a fabulous game. £14.39. Uh, £14 what a genius price. 836370 is your item number. We have got some uh, details for you. Which puzzle's really busy? The IQ puzzle is really busy. You found that on the website. Yeah, yeah do you know I what? Just, it's amazing. I this think that is, is wonderful. Thirteen pounds and forty-nine pence is a great price. One hundred and twenty challenges. That is just fabulous. Genuinely amazing. On, honestly, if you haven't got this already, then I really do seriously, seriously recommend that you get it. Yeah. So Zero. just, I'm saying, trust me on this because yeah. I've never let anybody down on the on, on the you show. And there's lots of different haven't. things, and and you all generally listen to me. So I'm saying to you, absolutely, go buy the I. Q jigsaw. 061002 is your item number for that one. Grab that whilst we've got that in the basket. Right, something else that's new today that we've got for you is the Cube Slinger. This is one of the best sellers on the show. Do you know what? This is a great game to play with your family, your friends, but it's also great just to do yourself. You know, rather than go to your electronic games, take this to work with you, do it in your lunchtime, do it with your friends, take it with you on your holidays, you can have great fun. Uh, 646323 is your item number, £12.59. and pence. Shall we take a trip to Yorkshire? Oh, their tea is beautiful. You might see Catherine on the way as well. And those chips in Whitby are lovely. Uh, 367056 is your item number, just watch out for Dracula, he may be there. £17.99. Sorry, where was Dracula? Up in Whitby. Really? That's that's where Dracula comes from. Well, he doesn't, but I that's... thought Dracula came from Transylvania. No, no, no. The dark dog. Well, he does, but the dark dog came over on the boat to Whitby. Oh, so it's kind of like he started in Transylvania and thought, "I'll move over to Whitby." Yeah, he came to Whitby. Have you never been on the Dracula tour in Whitby? Uh, no. Oh, Bram Stoke, Dracula. Oh, that's where, that's where it happened. The black dog. He came to Whitby, got off the boat. Dracula. I'm going to stick with Eurovision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are we on here? Mr. Okay, Gems? this is the third of the Genius Games. This okay. is the Genius Gems. Oh. Uh, so this is the third in the series. And um, what is different about this one is that you're working with clusters okay. of colours. And these uh, gem sections are double-sided. Right. So if you turn okay. them over, yep. whatever you see on one side yep. uh, is reversed on the other side. So, for example, here we've got uh, two yellow gems and yep. one orange gem. And if you flip it over... It becomes two oranges and one got yellow. You. So we remove all of these and we've got spaces on our board for our ten sections of gems. Now, yep. what do we do here? Well, here, this is a bit different because this is all sort of colour coded. Yes. And we've got white dice here that are all identical and they've got different patterns on them. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the dice in here. We're going to put the lid on the top here like so. And that's going to go in here. And then when I lift this off oh, like clever. that, okay, it's going to come up with some patterns that appear in colours. Oh, and okay. what we're going to do is we're going to race against uh, each other oh. in order to try and get all of these patterns in right. any, on any angle okay. into the puzzle at the same can time. Can I ask a question then? You can so ask that a question. needs to be three in a row in blue, mm -hmm. three in a row in yellow, yep. diddly diddly do in the lovely uh, fuchsia. Diddly diddly do in the Pink. green and diddly diddly do in the orange. Okay, fuchsia. anywhere on here. Anywhere on there, but they've all go got to be to the in there fuchsia. at the same time. Yeah, okay. no, it's pink. Right. Right, okay. Uh, so, for example, actually, you know, you, you start doing it as well and, I, and, I'll start, and I'll start doing it too. It doesn't matter okay. what angle we do them on. So, if I put that in there like so, and uh, then I would need blue. to have this one in here okay. like so. The so, blue. there is our uh, fuchsia. Yeah. Pink shape yep. in there like that. Uh, now let's uh, work on the next complicated one, which I've is. I've got my the, blue. You've got in your a blue. Three. You've got your blue in a three there. And now I need my orange. Uh, I'm going to try and get my uh, complicated my green in one in, in there. I need is that, my yellow that, in a, a green two. one there. No, that's not. I need that's my yellow in a in three. Here. So flip mm -mm 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 -mm. that over. Okay. There is. Okay. There you are. There's my. I didn't know we're on the clock. Yeah, we're not on the clock. Who's why? Who's timing? Oh, we are. Apparently, we are. We're apparently on the clock. Okay, okay, I've got the uh, out ones in there like that. <laughs> okay, that wicked laugh from the... <laughs> okay. You're on the clock. <laughs> right, that... that's going to go in there. Like that. I've got the I've orange one in there like that. And you've got... Have you? Is that is that the pink no, one? No, that's not the pink one. That's the pink one. You've got the pink shape. You've got the pink shape wrong in there, unfortunately. 
I can hear Ed laughing How from they here. laugh so if ha <laughs> ha uh, Right, the green one There's needs to be evil laughter coming here. And the green I, I've one needs... I've got the blue and the yellow the green. All I need now is, is that... Well, the blue... Actually, want... I've left my... I've so completely messed myself up here. That's two... I put that in two here, like so. It goes in there like that. Two now two. I've got... Oh, do you know I'm stuck on the fuchsia one? Mm. Two and two. So that goes in there like two. so. The fuchsia one needs to be like that, doesn't it, Gavin? Uh, no, but the pink one does. The pink one. I keep the calling pink. it fuchsia. Sorry. I know. That's OK. Didn't promise. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, but I'm just, I'm just trying to do the uh, the blue one now, but I've made it really difficult for I've myself. I've got the green. Yes. I've got the green. I've got the blue. Yes. I've got the orange. Yeah, you've got the yellow. I've got the orange. Well, have you done the orange one? Where's what? the orange one? You haven't done the orange one, because no, the orange not... one goes around like that. There, like so. Yeah, you're right. Okay. okay. So I'm just missing the blue one now, and I haven't left myself yeah. enough space. Right. Uh, orange to do one that. needs so to go. So I maybe am I need going to, to... That. That's the orange one. Want... Yeah. That's... What am Is that I the orange do one? Here? Is that the orange one there, Gavin? Uh, no, it's not. Look, see, look, see how the orange though? one goes on the curve there like that. Mm. Yes, that was fine. That was fine. That's fine how you've done that around there. That's fine. Okay, that's right. And if we have to extend the... Uh, so all the pieces, I've got, it doesn't matter. I've, I've, just, got, I've just got, got to do the, the blue now. I've got the pink. I've got the pink. Wait, I've got uh, two pink here. Oh, wait, I could wait, do. wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, no. No? Yes. yes. No, because you haven't put the pieces in the right place, have you? What? Yeah. Yeah, but I've done it. I've just got one left over. No, you can't have one left over. You've got Why to get not? them all in. Have I? Because that's how the puzzle works. D -d 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 right, now I've got. Oh, I'm doing it wrong again. What am I doing here? I don't know. Okay, but it's good. Now this one's got over ten thousand okay. uh, possible puzzles. Wait a minute. In. If that goes there and that goes there, and that goes there and that goes. Wait a minute. That goes right, there. I've got that one in there. Now I've got the yellow one in there. Now let's just concentrate on the blue one in there. Let's have a look. Okay, blue. No, you've got. You've undone the orange one now. Why? Where was the orange one? Well, the orange one was there, but you've now undone it. I've got the pink one though, haven't I? You've got the pink one in there. So I'm going to go in here like so. That. And uh, 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 how does the, uh, uh, the orange one, the orange one goes go. like I've done wait, wait. it? I've done it no, there. No, you haven't. Uh, yes, oh, you I have. have. I have, have done it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, what am I missing? I'm only missing one now. I am missing the green one. I think I've done one. it. I think I've done it. Let's have there's, a look. there's, there's the green. Da -da -da -da. No, that's the wrong shape of the green. Oh. It goes. Hang on. I'm if I turn it that way. <laughs> But there, oh, there. So uh, now I've done it. Okay. Now, now I have done it. Okay. All right. Okay. So look there. There's the green going around there. there like so. Got you. Here's the orange going around here like so. There's the straight line for the blue there. There's the straight line for the yellow there. And there is our jagged one there for the fuchsia. Oh, well done. Stop the clock. He's only gone and done it. Uh, well done. But now, this is this is great because you can play just with the white dice, which yes. are all the same, or you can interchange with any of the dastardly dice, which have more, much the what more... Dice? The dastardly, as the in dastardly. Dick dastardly and Ooh, yeah, and Muttley. <laughs> No, yeah, how, did, I, how did he yeah. laugh? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> can I just tell you, I can do the most evil laugh ever. Can you? Can you want to hear my evil laugh? Yeah, go on then. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, OK, um, Ed, can you record this? Do it again. <laughs> if it hadn't been for those pesky kids, I'd have got away with it. <laughs> It's like Scooby himself is okay. here. Uh, hope, hopefully we captured that. Right, let's just give you a reminder of what we've got left because we're coming towards the end of the show. My and goodness. there is also the red die, which we forgot about. I was going to mention okay. that, which makes it even harder. Bump. OK. OK. Right, so we th something that we haven't covered is the ice cube. Can yeah. we have a look at that? We're yeah, we can have a look at ice no? cube because we've got... No, we can't have a look at ice uh, cube. We're going to go back to the cube slinger, but that's the ice cube. I like the look of that one, though. 899 078200 is your ice right, cube Where number. did we actually put the cube slinger? Cube slinger went where, where, there. Where, oh, here it is, here. Yep. OK. Yep. So, okay. OK. Right. Got it. Have you got it, though? £11.69. pence. Oh, can I just tell you, by the way, well, yeah, we've got you? it. That is the world's first game ever to use uh, Braille, uh, British Sign Language, oh, Morse fantastic. Code. Fantastic. A whole load of um, uh, hieroglyphics. Uh, it's pretty awesome. In fact, yeah, pass me a couple of cards. Yeah, yeah, uh, what yeah. What you have to do, and you get your own you get your own thing which has got the codes on it okay. uh, uh, as well. And for each of these, you've got to crack the code. Uh, and you'll see, for example, uh, on here, these are all mountains. You've got to work out what they are. Uh, and you've got to name these things that you might find in the kitchen. B. And they'll all be well-known things. And you're going to get, I'm going to pass over to here because a, I don't know where B. they've gone. Here they are. C. 
These are the things that I want here. Is that? This is what your uh, code breaking okay. crib sheet looks okay. like here. Yep. You've got all the codes on so you can work out things from there. So if you're looking e. at any of these things there, you e. can just see. So what we've got here, I shall show you, yep. is Sorry. we've got uh, hieroglyphics, yes. semaphore, yes. braille. Lovely. Uh, then this is one of these uh, original uh, codes, which is called Aristoletica icons. Yep. Uh, British Sign Language. I can do British Sign Language. Can you? Yeah. Oh, come on, I'm going to try and work out what you're saying. Oh, I I'm not very oh. good at spelling. You won't be able to. <laughs> I'll spell this out, though. H-A-P-P-Y. That's so cool. No, thank you very much. And you will be able to do it on here as well. And there you go. Uh, and you've also got Morse code down there. Morse happy. code, pretty cool as well. So this is, this is um, a really cool game. Okay. And that is on a massive, massive se uh, special offer. You'll just get your, that's normally nineteen ninety nine. So you're saving And this is not an SOS. 30. You like that reference? I do like that reference. Yeah, you do. Abba. Oh, we're right. Back to Abba again. Okay. 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 I know it's a little bit pandemonium, but this is what it's like at Christmas, Easter, and any other celebration that we have with our family and friends where we get the puzzles out. Right. Are we back right. to Cube's thing? Uh, eh? No, we've got. Uh, oh, this is pan. Oh, right. This is your B. Oh, we did. Okay. B. So genius. when you're shouting pandem pandemonium to me, I thought you just meant the show. Right. We right. Actually I'm had coming that back on the over show. to here to show you B. Genius quickly. Okay. This is what happens when you've only got two minutes left. There, down there, uh, is B. Genius. Here, that is the junior version of the Genius Games, suitable for ages three to eight. Really nice, big, chunky pieces. Over 4,000 possible puzzles, and they use very basic colours and numbers as well. This is not a head to head one, this is one which you do by yourself because the idea is you're trying to build your confidence, understanding, spatial awareness, logical deduction, and problem solving as well. Um, is this your only show tonight? Yes. Oh my goodness, come back over here okay, then. Let's go back here, over right. there. We've got one and a half minutes left um uh, we're doing something with let's sling a cube right let's do a cube thing here so uh, what we've got is that we've each uh, we're head to head okay. against each other we've yep. got our four dice here yeah uh, we'll take another we'll take a relatively easy okay. one see how we do this is from level two okay so what we know from level two is we're going to have the green, green one, one there, there. And it's going to have the green in the corner and we're going to have the uh, one orange one there it's going to have that in the corner green one up uh, there. the blue up there with a uh, green in the corner okay. there and finally this one there <laughs> with <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like that. That could have ended my career. I like that. Did that could nearly, have ended my did career. Did you nearly say something that you regretted? I nearly said something at both mm. ends. This is good. Oh, thanks, Ed. Oh, let's hope this runs. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard myself do that before. It's actually quite scary. You would have heard me in stereo, if you know what I mean. Just the fact that we've only got 30 seconds <laughs> no, left. We've only got 30 just, seconds just left. Buy, okay. buy everything, OK? Uh, uh, you want to know where my next show is? Go on, yes, I please. do. Uh, 16th of April, and there are going to be some amazing product launches. Something awesome is arriving tomorrow, and you're oh, going to see it. Do you know what? Oh, my goodness, I need to go and sit down and do a jigsaw puzzle. Gavin, can I say a huge thank oh, you? Thank you. You are an it's amazing awesome. star. Oh. Thank you so much. And I know you had a bit of a bad journey getting here, so take yes, care. I've got to get Safe home, Safe yes. journey home. You're in for a treat. We've got the menu. Menu of menus coming up next. It's our Gavin. Thanks for watching. Check out your baskets. Gavin. So let's see what's coming up. We've got Memory Box Whimsical Gladiola's new and exclusive coming up with Adam, followed by Painting Perfection Volume 7 One Day Special. And over on Craft Extra, it's Bouger with Dawn Wheeler. <laughs>